Hello everyone and welcome back. It's time to head to the tent. It's time to do deer stands. It's 5.30 in the morning. I'm heading up. I'm going to be up there today, tonight, tomorrow, and then tomorrow night I think and then I'll leave early the following morning. My dad's going up there this morning. Uh, Zachary's going to come up for a while tomorrow. We're just going to check all the deer stands. My dad has a new deer stand he wants to put up. And i got to get some firewood up on that front porch. five or six days they're talking about maybe the first snow flurries of the year that's at the house I, I heard on the radio this morning that along the north shore of Lake Superior there could be some snow flurries this morning but looking at the the models it shows maybe a half inch of to an inch of snow but there was another model that showed like seven or eight inches falling in uh, end of next week but never know up here, especially this time of year. All filled up with fuel. My dad texted me and said he's leaving at 7.30, so that'll put him up there 11.30 or so, I suppose. I don't have to stop at the grocery store. I went yesterday. I just brought up some pork steaks and some hamburgers. It's a little bit foggy up here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but... Dad told me that they had come in here, the Forest Service, and mowed the brush on each side of the road here. It was about time it was really growing in. grouse right there. <laughs> oh, I wanted to check for ducks though. Never see any ducks really. Oh well. I'll let that grouse be. Well, it's definitely chilly in here. I don't know um, if, every, if anything is out of place because I wasn't the last one up here. Zachary and Rose were, but every light is on. They must have left pretty early in the morning. Definitely want to get that wood stove going though. It's chilly.
heat feels good. <laughs> I have my long john bottoms on, but I should have put my jacket on. I didn't see any ducks out there. The water is really high. There's three beavers out there chewing on the lily pads. Turned on the fan to blow some of the cold air out of here. Turned on the electric blanket on the bed, both sides. That always helps it warm up in here. Later on today, or maybe tomorrow, trying to get a bunch of stuff done today because I think it's going to rain overnight tonight. But anyway, we'll get a bunch of that wood over there up on that front porch. I want to run down right away this morning and check my far stand and see how good or bad a shape that thing's in. Normally I'll check it, you know, sometime during the year, but I haven't at all this year. Bugs were so bad. And with Melissa up here, we do a lot of fishing, so I'm not driving around as much. Right there, I can see my tacks right over there on that thing. Let's see how my parking spot is. Got a deer track right here. Don't think I saw one of them last year back here. Sometimes they'll follow right around here and come out. My stand is right. Let's see. In there, I think. Can't tell for sure. Seems the same as it always is. There's so few deer up here right now, I mean, until the snow falls see if they're moving around, if the wolves are still in the area. I mean, once the deer, once there's nothing for the wolves to eat, they should move out. But then deer will come back in and I'm sure they'll come back. One stand down. This one is good to go. I think we'll go in here and check my clearing stand. I bet you those trees in there are getting big. They were getting big last year. top of the tree that the deer stand is against has snapped off. There were some big storms that came through here though. In this stand now, they're going to have to be like right in 
this area. I used to watch them on the edge of that tree line over there. If there was snow on the ground, you'd be able to see everything, but it's really growing up. I mean, I shot that bigger buck, what was that, I don't know, three, four years ago, right back in there. You have a hard time seeing it now. Yeah, look at the top of that tree. I hear a lot of shots. People must be out grouse hunting. When I was back at my far stand there, I put the camera down, grabbed my gun, and just walked behind the stand a little ways. There's just one spot where, see if there was still a deer trail going through there, and I jumped three grouse. <laughs> totally wasn't ready for it. Well, that's both of my stands are done. I just need to bring cushions out to sit on, which I do all the time. This one here, the blanket's not looking very good, but it'll still work. These trees in here used to be so small, it was too hard to get through here, so I tried to take the trail out to the clearing and come around and now I'm looking here, I could just walk straight. The stand is right over there, I can see it. Probably be easier to do that. Get rid of that stick. Just walk straight out here. I might do that. Look at this big old dead birch. <laughs> Look at that birch bark. Still though, have not seen any deer droppings. George was going to put his uh, cameras out. And I'm sure they already did that. It'll be interesting to see if they saw any deer on them or not. There's another tree that got blown down with that when them storms came through. I think we'll head back to the tent for a little bit. And then maybe later on we'll run out and see Sarah's stand. I don't know how much my dad's going to want to do today with because he brought that brand new stand, so... I'll find out when he gets here. Oh, there's another grouse right there. It eluded me. Must have flown. Still not very warm in here. What does it say? 66 degrees? I decided to grab my gun and I was just going to walk down the tent driveway and then I walked down the road a ways and took a ski trail in and then decided to cut through the woods and weasel my way back to where Sarah's stand was and I checked that out and everything looked good. And then I came back, I shot one grouse, <laughs> and uh, then I came back and I went over to Dad's place because Dad was there and I, we looked at that deer stand that he had. So I'm going to make some lunch now, make a couple burgers, and then after that we're going to just go over and look at that spot that he wants to put the deer stand in. 
and then I guess tomorrow when Zach comes up we'll set it up or whatever I don't know but that's my plan right now is to make some lunch It's weird coming up here because at home now we always used, I always did, had paper plates and the plastic cups and now we've switched and we don't do that anymore. We just use regular plates, you know, and wash them. And uh, so when I come up here it's like, oh we got paper plates. <laughs> I have a burger with bread. I didn't even put any ketchup on there or nothing. One of these, I'm gonna have a, a fudge dip bar and I have a can of sliced pears. My dad wanted to take off right now and go over to check out that deer stand area. I said, I gotta get some lunch in me. And he's like, um, well, as soon as you're done with that, I got lots of stuff to do here. <laughs> so, it's like, okay, I'll hurry up and eat. <laughs> Why don't you just drive your truck all the way down there and we'll unload it there? No, oh, yeah, we could. Yeah. You know, then we can just. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we could just unload it. You can just put it onto the side. Right, and then tomorrow bring this down mm -hmm. with Zach in case we have to carry it. Yeah, but we will we'll only have to take care of your part way. We'll put it in here, and I can drive almost all the way over there. Oh, you can? Okay, okay. Yeah. We can drive this down right now, and you can just drive that, and we can unload it there and throw it on here if you want, or we can do it oh, tomorrow. Oh, yeah, see, see, yeah that work when it's on. Then at least then we're not tying it and going a mile, yeah, you know, yeah. so. See, see, yeah, all
Oh, I pulled the stand off back there. And tomorrow when Zach gets up here, we'll go out there and set the whole thing up. guys are coming for a snack. How about some stale Pringles? I don't have very many left. Is that what you want? Come on. Come here. Come on. up with you guys. Oh, all three of you are here now, huh? Oh, you took the big one. <laughs> Come on. You guys must be the babies. That's cheating there. That's cheating. Come on. I got all the good dry hardwood, which is on the bottom here. Then I brought a bunch of this dry pine, because I usually fill this area up before winter. 
this is good to burn in the fire out there or when it's warm like this in the stove there unless you know overnight when you want longer heat but then we have some other piles that are split over at dad's place and i'll probably get some more for here because it's not going to totally fill it up i can kind of dump it in that corner and then let that season but uh, i'm not going to worry about that right now we'll see what we've got there I've got, i know i've got enough there already to make it the whole deer hunting in winter but we'll see here But I had the the other machete so I sharp enough and I went over and cleared them. My trail down to the stand. To which one? The far one? Yeah, the, the, one, the one in, in the pine tree. Oh, the... the See, I, I made it to, uh, because I, I could never have the time. Let's see... It's terrifying when my phone says right now there's an 80% chance of rain. How the hell could they say that? Yeah, mine says 84% chance. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's see what precipitation. Yeah, you have to plug up. Jeepers creepers. Did you drug drive all the way through? Mm -hmm. On the far end, what was it? What was it really hard getting through over there? Yeah, you could get through, but they haven't cut much space there. No, they didn't. <laughs> and you, you can see that they only went with the machine. When Zach can't camp out, does he camp over there? Or? Yeah, right where that, yeah, you know where yeah. that campsite is. I guess one time he came out here this year and there was somebody there. Camping, so he went over and by oh, the in the in that island. Yeah. Huh. Remember, I used to be one. What was it over here? The nearest science said Jack below Jack Pine Point or something. But oh, that's got to be where them. I know where the pines are. I have seen that one. I'm not so sure where it is. But. Yeah, if you go through the narrows, then there's this shallow yeah, bay, yeah. and then it's got to be right there because oh, it's yeah, all yeah. jack pines. Now there's some that have fell in the water, but yeah. Because uh, I even walked there for, 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 from the uh, ski trail. Oh, did you? Yeah, you know, because I, uh, I've seen this little science of trail, and I'll go off some, but I just followed it, and it brought me for right down there. I remember being up there before and seeing the fire grate, but now there's trees that are all down in there. Oh, I but I do yeah. remember seeing that. Tomorrow, I'll probably have to. Well, let's see. See how this shows the wind as it comes off the lake? See how it comes off of oh, Lake Superior? Is that right? Sometimes sure. it'll be going out here, but then, you know, here's where yeah. we live right there. And it just comes right off that nose, and it, and then down in Moose Lake, <laughs> it'll be 80, and here it'll be 60. You know? oh, oh. oh, I heard mm -hmm. a lot of them earlier, but yeah, I said, "How much for shooting my gun? gun? I already have it set up." So. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll shoot. Uh, I always shoot for, from the porch. Down behind the shop, so it goes right to down in the swamp. Oh, yeah. Poor the Andy there, and he said, Well, I suppose it won't be long as you and your son will be just shooting holes all over here prior to scene. 
You tell them about all the people shooting over it. Oh, you probably oh, that was last man, week. Was that a little lot of? They had to be over a hundred. <laughs> I think it's an expensive when you shoot like that. <laughs> Tonight for dinner I'm going to do pork steaks, I brought up some uh, red potatoes that I harvested out of the garden, I even, they were out in the workshop all covered in dirt yet, so this morning I wiped off the dirt and I put them in this bag and it's like, I'm going to go inside and wash them so I don't have to do it when I get up here. So they're clean, and then for a veggie. Let's see, I have, for little cans, I have beets and sweet corn, so I think we'll do sweet corn. I'm just going through the uh, pictures on the camera that's on the front of the tent. There's like 981 of them. Maybe 931, I don't know. Huh. Wonder who that is. I will have to send a picture to my dad and see. I sent my dad the message and we'll see. This is when I was up there. That was in towards the end of August. Oh, that's a, I think that's a wolf. Ah, now I don't know where I was. <laughs> ah. Who is that? There that is again. Huh. 
Now that's Rose, so that's when Zack and Rose came up. But this person back here, I'm going to go back. This is a 925. I know who that is. That's Zachary. He came here after that big storm that came through here. And he came really early. My clock is not right. But let's see. That's 906. This had to have been a huge lightning strike during the storm. Or maybe it's just all the rain and wind, I don't know. But, okay. The other two I don't know, we'll see if Dad knows. And this keeps coming up a couple times, it looks like a dog, so it's got to be a wolf coming up. You can see just the leg, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Alright, now that I know who that is, let's go forward to Zach and Rose being up here. Okay, we're back to Zach and Rose. <laughs> She's sweeping too. There she is, my little granddaughter. They must have cooked out on the fire and they were just here for the one day so now they're gone. We're past three quarters of the way done now. Mr. Rabbit is still here. Nobody's eaten it yet. There it is again. And that's me. That's today, so the date is correct on here, but the time, well, yeah. No, the time is off a couple hours, because when I showed up, it wasn't 4.56. So, what was that? Oh, <laughs> it was like, what was on that stump? I set my camera on the stump. So, my dad said he's never seen him before. So that means... Right there. Let's see if you can see him. If anybody knows who that is, let me know. I mean, I've got no trespassing signs. Lakeside, driveway side. Nine hundred and thirty-one pictures there was. There we go. Not much ready to go back in the camera. Those people that were on the camera, I will probably have caught them on another camera. And then one of them is a pretty good job of getting the license plate number. So maybe if uh, my dad saw the vehicle, he would know who they were. It smells like burning plastic, right? That light bulb right there is kind of fluttering. I just replaced that thing not that long ago, I thought. They are all doing that. I don't know what it was. This light was kind of flickering, and the one in the hallway back here was flickering. Now they stopped, and I just got this little faint smell of, like, burning plastic. I don't think I've had a baked potato from the, that I, of one of them that I grew from the garden this year yet. My hands smell like burning plastic, so what? I touch this here. That 
That is so weird. Like, what did I touch <laughs> that would smell like that? My camera? No. I didn't touch the light bulb. It's this here. <laughs> I think I put um, a little bit of bleach in there. If I remember right, because I was going to leave this in here, so I put bleach in here. And that's exactly the smell. I put the potatoes next to the fire. There's really not a big bed of coals at all yet, so I just put them close to there. Threw a couple more pieces of birch on there. It'll get some coals. So we're finally going to see what the monuments look like. Put it on the screen, please. It's just fine. Cabin says he's future me. Tell him not to be there that day. But like so much of this time, that makes so there are us. I didn't know you were a hugger, Lieutenant. Oh, come on, Dad. If that doesn't look good, I don't know what does. I'm confused. Even years ago, I thought you'd know. Far edge of Federation space. It takes days to get a message to Starfleet. We're weeks away from help getting to us, even at maximum warp. Good night, everybody. The rain just started. Good morning everybody, 617 right now at 12 minutes ago Zachary messaged me and said he was leaving to come up here so that'll put him here I don't know an hour or so at that time it wasn't raining I got up at it was 447 and it was not raining and it was 69.1 in here 40.8 outside now it's 40.1 but it just started raining but I was looking at the radar and I don't think it's gonna rain all that much I think just a little bit this morning let's hope so we want to sight in rifles get that stand up for my dad Zach has to check his stand it'd be nice if it wasn't raining all day no, I'm 
I'm taking this weather station that was in the bedroom and I'm going to bring it home and put it into the fish house. It's too bright. So I never use it. I have it turned and pushed up against the wall so it doesn't wake you up. <laughs> so I need to just get a smaller one that tells the temperature like I used to have. I don't need one like this. And we've been wanting to get one for the fish house. So I was last night I was laying in bed and was like, why do I even have this one up here if it's going to face the wall? Really? For what? Like, Which one is 65? Is that? That's the main road over by Superior. Oh, so the way down there. <laughs> Where they're still near. Yeah, I don't know. I think I saw some, maybe a set of tracks back by my bar stand. I don't know. I looked all around Sarah's and couldn't find any. No. Any tracks really? And, but yeah, I did come out the right of the way. I cut through. I think you said what you say the other day. Was you texted me. I thought you said it was a to the to the platform maybe. Okay. Yeah, it hung out the trailer quite a ways. But I just went through the woods when I took it to turn. I hoped it wouldn't hit the tree or whatever. <laughs> And I went in as far as I could go where I could see that I could get the four-wheeler out. And it was still kind of a challenge, but I, I got it out. What's the, you said you, if you have a portable now, you have to have a one foot by one foot orange piece on it? I guess you have to have it on all sides, like four oh, sides. Really? It's like I would just take an orange jack and throw it over the top of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I suppose that, I don't know if people have run into them with their cars or shot them or what that reason is. Yeah, that's kind of different. Right, right. Yeah, I don't know. I just read that. It was new. The area they logged last year. And so we were, Sam and Rosie and I were out grouse hunting, walking, and we go back there, and I thought it was just this little logged out area by the road, but then we were walking where the trail was, where they were driving, and it goes up and through to this large area in the back. And there's a bunch of moose um, tracks and a bunch of deer tracks in there. Really? They just go right through up into that clear cut area in the back. And is that Superior National Forest? That is. Is yeah, it? Yeah. I bet you there'll be hunters in there at least that first week. But oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. Well, at least there's tracks there. You know? Yeah, there's a bunch of deer tracks and a bunch of moose tracks there. Huh. It'd be cool just to sit up on top of there with a camera and take pictures of the, you know, the moose come by or bring one with you when you're in your deer stand or if you go sit on. Is there a spot where you're on top and you can look around? Or yeah, it... yeah, you can sit. We walk out in the clearing and it kind of goes up. Then you can see like pretty much all the way around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. An outdoor school, I think it might be an outdoor place for troubled kids or something. You can see it on the map. Where that comes down, it goes out from there. There's a, a hole. Says you just nail slab crappies. Oh, really? And I've never been up there to fish it. <laughs> and it's the one tip I got, though. <laughs> <laughs> and he was old, so I mean, he would have. Well, we went over to my dad's place, just to be neighborly. <laughs> Thought we would sit and chat. Nope, he's ready to go out there and do the deer stand, so he handed us a board that's gonna go underneath where the steps go in. Otherwise, uh, the steps will just get down into the ground. And uh, he said, I'll meet you out there. <laughs> What's that? Well, I was just telling everybody how we went over there to be neighborly, and now we gotta get our butts moving because he's ready to go. show you this later but it's a little tiny camera and it plugs in your phone and it's infrared. Oh I saw those. Yeah. Is it? Well yeah. the brand I have. I don't know if it's the same style but the thing looks awesome. I didn't get they have two styles. 
Short, tall, and narrow? That's what I got. I got short. You got the, sh the fatter, wider one? Yep, I figured okay. I won't tip over as easy. Yeah, that's the one that I'd go with if I got it again. I want to try to set it up so I can set it outside the fish house and then run a, the line going in and the outlet yep. so it can suck in and pull out. I, I'm In the bag here is, is, is destructions which is and oh, hot straps. Okay. And then on here, once it's up, if the bar is too far out. You just roll right it up. I have no wrench a wrench. Okay. You can come in. It's a bigger tree, it would have been more. Or if we stuck those feet in the ground. I don't, I don't think that that has to be pulled in any farther, do you? The gun thing? No, it looks, it looks like about right. Right. How does how did that keep that high enough for the Yeah that was high enough. You're going to do that.
Going. No, I think it'll be good there because you feel like it should be closer, but when you put your gun in, yeah. and they're always too close, you know, and then you're like, you're like this, yeah. so. Then the whole whip goes, how about Yeah, I did raise it up some. Oh, so. yeah. 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 Like, just up here or something. Really? Yeah, go ahead. Let's just try. Let's head back for those taller pine trees and see what we see. That one looks like a wood walk right in here. I mean. And I don't see anything marking anything on the trees, but. <laughs> looks like it was broken and refixed. It. Yeah, look at it. The big part goes up to that top branch up there yeah. and then it just stops. That is cool. Might be a little point here. Looks like it might be. Yeah, just follow those tall. There's a big old pine tree up there a little bit to the left and ahead. There was a spot yesterday out by Sarah's stand. Lots of blueberry plants. All of this is blueberries. Nobody's picking these. So if a person would write down where they are, you could come up here in July or August and pick a lot of blueberries. Huh, that's pretty cool. And who knows, maybe the guy found a spot where the deer were crossing the river. That could be. I guess it's that they... Where is it? Back there. What's on the other side of this big hill here? Must have just been one big burst of wind. This is a steep hill here. Right there. Yeah, it could be. It looks like maybe something right there too. Oh, that really dropped. <laughs> yeah, if you had a stand up here, an inch of snow on the ground, you're covering a big area here. Looks like those go up even higher over there. You know, you got Lewis and Clark people that explored and I mean the people that we walking with no maps know nothing and they're walking through this wilderness trying to figure out <laughs> how would you know where you were, you know? We just found a couple of these sticking out and I dig down and there's There, this one you can almost see. Oh, that one. What does that say? Something. Oh, is it beer? Yeah, beer. Somebody was drinking some beers. This one's grown into the tree. Oh, there's another one drinking a lot of beers. Beer. Losing shotgun shells. <laughs> oh, oh, that yeah. one stays. Wow, that, I mean, that's like a solid. That's gotta be a 16 ounce beer. That's so heavy though. Who would think in the middle of the woods? It's like if you had some steel wool or something, you get the... Right. Something premium beer. Maybe somebody will recognize it. This one too. What is this one? I don't know. Huh. I guess we'll bring them back. That's cool. What the Yeah, I see this side is flowing. Usually this is the one that gets clogged up. 
But look at the other one, all that stuff. There's like hardly nothing. You can see a little bit of movement there, but I wonder if they'll get that cleaned out before winter or otherwise in the spring when that snow melt, that lake will be really oh, high. spot in the yard that gets so muddy during deer hunting. Probably gonna need to wash that, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's really wet in there. Oh. So for this thing, so you can change it the colors. This is probably more standard. And you can uh, move this and it'll, it's mirrored so it's hard to find, but you can focus it. Zoomed in, but I guess for what it, what it Sometimes you're watching her go out, come on, come on, and then go out, yes. come on. So that's how I have that no set. What did you so, do it has to be the input. It is right and back. Yep. Because okay. now I have power off. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 DVD, you'll have to do the new one, so we'll see how this. But you're just hinge out. Oh, okay. I gotta hold it. Yeah, I don't know. Which side is it up to? This side. Is it low? It looks low, yeah. Okay. Let's see before you do. Yeah, we'll have to see if this will make it. <laughs> like, Where's it taking off? Is there three down there? Uh, oh, yeah. It's got to go all through and over. It came with the other cable. Do you want to try this before we drill the hole? Just to make sure that it works? Or? It should be it. I don't know. Well, a lot of we sure could. Uh, I would say. A half should do it, yeah. Half or five eighths. Yellow. Here. You want that light down? White. White is the second one in. Yeah, how is that going to work? Sometimes they have them spaced out. That would be composite. So that will work for them.
doesn't seem to have any kind of a... Let's see. Play. Huh? Well, she, she's here, just yeah, scale it up and down. Okay. Just scoop all up and to down. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had an HDMI cable go bad. When I did this video before, when we were working on it, several people in that video said, change the HDMI cable, had them go out several times. So that's what it ended up being. You are no longer on HDMI 2. I'm running down the direction today. Okay. <laughs> You're all so this was not, this is TV right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's just C O M P. Okay. And then all I got is. Okay, now so I turn it on to, to, yeah, to, to, to this is television. Yep, you turn it on and if this, when you turn in a DVD, if all of a sudden it says no signal, uh -huh. you would push input 
and now it's hooked up to COMP. So you would just go through, like input, you would just go through. See it until you got to COMP. Now it's. That's what it's on. Oh, I see. Oh, so, it, it's on the bottom. I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter where it is. You would just go through until you found it. So, DVD, well, DVD. This would probably be better because the volume is a long time. So I wouldn't shift the volume. This is a Vizio TV. We have a Vizio in the fish house. I'm going to get rid of it. And we've had them before. We've got a big one in the bedroom that we bought down for Louisiana. The sound sucks on them. Yeah, that's and, right here. I had it all the time. Yeah. You're a bitch. So an, loud. And it's an expensive TV. Yeah. Buy an ONN or a right. Hisense. Right. Much cheaper and um, way better sound. Yeah. Yeah, that one will have to go back to the tent. Yeah, because that has, should have tails of those fire in it. So. Right. Yes, sir. I will. Then I'm going to try to get another. See, it's good here, but, but these are what the old ones were. They weren't the. Right, but the new ones will automatically shove it over. You know what I mean? The new. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. I have trouble with my Vizio also. It just does the same thing. And that's a 2015 fish house, so more than likely. That's about the time they bought the TV, and that's probably about the time you bought this TV. Yeah, yeah. You know, somewhere around in there, so... You see, I've had to do this here, and, and yeah, ever since I did it, the built of the TV, I had to get television and measure. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so. so I don't know how... I mean, this thing is old, because it's, you know... It looks pretty clear when you're not close up. Oh, it's, no, it's great. But, it looks great. Well, we've been all over the place today, exploring deer stands. Then we had to go over to Dad's and try to fix that DVD, and it ended up being the HDMI cable, so we had to use a composite cable, and <laughs> now he wants to buy a new TV. And Anyway, that's done. It keeps raining and stopping and misting, but we are going to shoot our guns anyway. They have to be done today. You can't legally do it like the day before deer hunting. Somewhere in there, as big as where we shot last year. We don't really have any shots farther than that. about the same spot. Is that? Yeah, the hole is twice as big. Yeah. Which one is that one? This is my Mossberg Patriot. Which one have you been using lately? This one here. That one? Yep, I love this one. Let's see. I'm going to go for the center one this time. Okay. And then I've got both ARs, but they have their own little stand thing.
like just on the edge of the target to the very left. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, let's try it on time. Was that nowhere where you were near where you were aiming? No, I'm the aim pretty much center. Getting the heck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> out of here. They're shooting at us. <laughs> That's actually a pretty long shot for a 22. Is it? Max 22 mag. Want me to put a new target up? Nope. See how this scope, it's got to be the scope on my other gun. This scope is perfectly clear without my glasses on. The other one is that one on my, that came with that Savage Access. Mm -hmm. It's totally a piece of crap. Is that the gun that we had growing up? I'm not my my Mossberg Patriot, I mean. What's that? Is that the 22 that we had growing up, or is that a different one? This is a 22 Magnum. used to be my dad's. No, it's not the one we went plinking with all the time? No. That was a single shot. Okay. All right. No idea. Yeah, I don't know. Unless it's way to the left. You see that? I have a real hard time with the scope. Uh, I think that one was already there. I think I'd put in that one. Okay. Am I... Okay, hold on. Yeah, left is... Clockwise. That way? Yeah. And the scope has gold on there. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, now I'm going back to the center of the center one. Let's see. Is it really high? Like. No idea. Alright, this one's done. Oh, here, grab those shells. And... I was surprised too because I went to Midway USA and I was looking up um, 22 and for 500 rounds it's like 50 bucks. Is that? It's for sub house, Dad. Is this the one that you grab? Uh, it's usually it's behind stuff. I don't know. I got a lot to choose from. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Hey, I think that's the same scope that I was talking about. Yeah, it has the light on the side. Does it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the same one. So, I should just be able to do this. Uh, I guess I'll go for that center one. Oh, it moves around so much. So nice when you've got the, this thing. I'm going to go down on that same one mm -hmm. into the gray ring, okay. center of it uh, on the bottom. Okay. Oh, that probably would make the skull clearer. Oh, I need to go down. Now. 
neighbors let them just love us. Oh, well, <laughs> they're not oh, going to come over here and say anything. Right. Something just shot out of here. What's that? I thought something just. No, everything is pretty much ready. And the thing is, there's not a lot of deer sign. You know, so where are you going to go? You know, it's like just go in your regular spots and see what happens. And once we get some snow, we can look around more. Yeah. You know. Well, Zach just took off for home. We got everything done that needed to be done today. For it being a crappy, mostly rainy, rotten day, we got a lot of stuff done. Well, it's already 25 minutes after 7. I just spent the last hour filming another video on a product that I got, and uh, it's one of those batteries, or solar generator battery thingies, and I actually plugged it into the tent, and we ran, I ran everything, like shut the lights down, turned them on, uh, unplugged the outhouse, plugged it back in, had the refrigerator going, uh, had the microwave going. That thing pulls a lot of power. <laughs> it was really interesting, and um, that's going to go over on the Northern Seclusion channel. But I need to get things cleaned up because i got to get out of here early in the morning. I'm sure I already said it, but I have to cook a turkey at home tomorrow, and, and if I know Melissa, she bought the turkey. It's probably a big one, so I need to, I'll leave here early, like 6 o'clock in the morning or so. So I want to get things cleaned up so I have a little bit of time to relax tonight. I don't have to cook because I had the pork steaks, the baked potato, and that half a can of pears was still left over. So I'm good there. Let's just get it cleaned up. And yeah, the next time up here will be deer hunting. And that's going to be uh, two weeks from now. It will have opened this morning. So and if you, I don't know if I said that to you guys yet uh, on the way up here. Probably did. On opener, Zachary can't make it up here for opening day. Sarah can't make it up here. Zachary will be working. Sarah has a, an art convention in Minneapolis. She can't make it up here then. But Zachary said today that he might come up. I think he's going to come up. Like I'm going to come up here. I'll probably come up here Thursday. I'll be here Thursday, Friday. Deer hunting open Saturday. I'll be here Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I will leave after the morning hunt. And then I will come back up for the second weekend, like I always do, and then come up for third weekend. Uh, Zachary, he said he thinks he's going to come up for Monday and Tuesday because he'll work. He works. He works like uh, sometimes nights, sometimes days, 12-hour hour shifts, and it's like, man, that, I don't know how he does it. I really don't. Anyway, so he'll come up here for Monday and Tuesday, and then he can also come up here for third weekend. And I think Sarah... We'll probably try to come up then for third weekend also when Zachary is here. So we're all together. And if you look back, like I always get the, the questions in the videos. Do you guys ever shoot deer up here? Because a lot of the people haven't been watching since the beginning in 2011 or whenever this channel started. And uh, you can go back in the videos and see a lot of deer being shot. Zachary shoots a deer. Sarah shoots a deer. Sarah shot a couple deer. I've shot a bunch of deer that are on the channel. Uh, but, you know, you get new people that watch for a couple of years and we don't get anything. And, and you know that the wolves have decimated a lot of the deer herd up here. But anyway, so there's not going to be Sarah. It's time to get up at 4.30 or 4 o'clock or whatever it is. Opening weekend, but by the third weekend there will be. So, and I usually do three videos on it. Luckily, I don't have that much to clean up. It's not that dirty. I did some cleaning this morning before Zach showed up. Only have two dishes to wash with my chlorine smelling water.
Okay, everyone, it's a quarter to 11. Time for me to get to bed. I gotta get out of here early tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is 514 right now, and I am just getting some stuff packed up and gonna hit the road. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Wasn't up here for a long time, but I got a lot of stuff done. Deer hunting in less than two weeks. video.